Welcome to European Collectibles and um, just want to thank the Peterson Automotive Museum for spending the time to come over and, and uh, have a look around. So my name's Nick Clements. I started this company in the late 80s, uh, basically out of my house. And then five or six warehouses later, uh, 40 years into it, here we are. So please come and join me and uh, I'll show you around. Moved into this building about 15 years ago. Uh, the last couple of properties were just a little too small and I wanted a concept where uh, it was basically I could service all my customers needs. I used to have a lot of cars out in other facilities and got a little tired of the uh, over-promising and underperforming. So we do most everything in-house um, so we can control the quality of the product. Pretty much everything we do is, is uh, from the whole gamut, full-blown show cars all the way down to selling restoration projects. Um, this is some of the cars that we have finished over the last number of years. Uh, I'm pretty well known for four cam Porsches. Um, I've always really enjoyed uh, working on them. It's the car that, or the engine, that literally put Porsche on the map back in the 50s. First part of it was the 550 Spider, and that's really what put Porsche on the map. Um, a number of these cars I've owned for a lot of years. I'm actually drinking the Kool-Aid as well as selling it. Um, I really predominantly buy just cars that I really like. Um, so the 550, I've had that for about 10 years. Uh, that it did actually spend some time up at the Peterson. It uh, took me about seven years to restore it. They're a simple little car, but they're not. They're probably one of the hardest, most complicated cars we've ever done. Uh, so that was finished a number of years ago. This two liter um, slate gray 62 coupe was sitting in a warehouse in San Diego for north of 35 years until the client was uh, good enough to give it to us and we just finished a complete nut and bolt restoration on that. Um, the only one of the few things we don't do in-house is four cam engines and when we um, need a real expert to, to do some of the more sophisticated uh, specialist um, engines or transmissions, we do farm it out. Uh, the bulk of the other motors and transmissions, we do do them in-house. Um, 62 four cam, uh, Carrera Coupe, and then this car here is a 62 Carrera Cabriolet, very rare car, uh, the only one uh, ever um, painted fjord green. So pretty proud of that, I've had that for quite some time. So a couple of these cars are mine and they really aren't for sale. Uh, the main showroom has got a little bit more of an eclectic mix. I can take you over there and show you that. Uh, we do a little bit of, of everything. Um, I was a fan of Aston Martin for a lot of years and I've got a DB4 myself. Um, so I like to stay in the uh, British car arena as well as Porsche. We're probably more well known for Porsche, but I cut my teeth on British cars uh, in the 80s and 90s. Uh, this is a DB4, we just finished painting this. Uh, so this will be brought to market in the next, uh, next week or so. Um, Speedsters is something we're pretty well known for. Uh, we've generally got six or eight of them in stock or in process at any one time. This was actually a car that would have finished about 10 years ago and uh, we repurchased it, uh, the gentleman traded it in and uh, we are putting that back up for sale again. Uh, generally like to keep a fairly diverse selection of Porsches. Um, 55 Speedster, 73 RS, uh, the Outlaw 356s seem to be becoming very, very popular these days. So we have actually been getting involved in um, doing more modified cars, performance engines, braking systems, um, modifying engines. 
So that's become very, very popular and we've been doing quite a bit of that as well. Jaguar has always been one of my favorites. Um, if you had seen my facility 30 years ago, I normally would have 40 or 50 E-types in stock at any one time. XK120s, 40s, 50s. Um, these days it's predominantly Porsche, but I've always been a, a British car fan and uh, XKE is definitely one of the classics. As I was mentioning before, the outlaw side of the 356 market has become extremely popular, especially with one of the most well-known builders up in Los Angeles that's pretty close to us. So he's really, uh, really extended the market out and there's a lot of younger people getting involved, so that's a great thing as well. So a couple of uh, Outlaw 356s, modified engines, twin plug motors, 741 transmissions, disc, br disc brakes, and um, all encapsulated in, a, in an original A-bodied car. Uh, it's a little unusual. We've got a little bit of a plethora of uh, 914.6s at the moment. Uh, I was fortunate enough to buy a collection of nine of them out of the Midwest all pristine cars so normally we might have one in stock at the moment we've got quite a few and this it's kind of interesting how these cars come in waves we haven't had a speedster in a couple of you know a couple of months and then we now we've got five or six of them again i couldn't find a 914.6 for a client now i've got six or seven of them so it's uh, fairly unpredictable on on how the cars come along uh, we've got a full workshop facility where we uh, can do uh, any maintenance that any of our clients want and then also we do all the restoration as well. Uh, 58 Speedster, we're just installing a set of rudge wheels that we had outsourced and fully restored. Uh, this is another style of car that's becoming very popular and that's the uh, patinaed um, uh, driver. So someone wants, we're going to completely redo the drive line in this car and actually put a performance engine in it and then leave the paint and interior the way it is. This is something that's becoming very, very popular now and that's uh, a lot of our clients want a, a patina driver. They want the it, it to be mechanically uh, first class, potentially with performance engines in them as well, and then uh, leave the exterior of the car patina and original. So that's another uh, interesting thing that's been happening over the last number of years. Uh, the 911 above it, I was fortunate enough to buy that. A collection of three cars that were all one owner cars. Um, one owner original paint, 36,000 original mile 911T. So we're doing all the drive line, making sure that's all up to speed before we uh, deliver that car. Uh, this is something we do a lot of, which is just complete um, frame-up restorations. This is a 1967 911S. We took all the way down to the tub. Um, no stones been left unturned with this car, as far as paint, body, suspension, wiring, harness, engine, transmission, interior. So that'll be full-blown show car, and that'll probably go to Monterey this year. Thanks, Sergio. This is uh, another part of the business that we're just developing at the moment, which is obviously a, a, a spin-off of Singer. We're taking 964s, which are 89 through 93 Porsches, and then backdating them and making them uh, look like an RSR, and then building performance engines. Uh, four liter, 400 horsepower motors, six speed limited slip, uh, transmissions, um, customized suspension, and then customized an interior. So this is the first of them. That's the second car. We're building carbon fiber panels. Just removing the roof alone saves close to 50 pounds when you put a carbon fiber panel on it. Uh, we're building all our own custom fiber, uh, carbon fiber, excuse me, uh, rear deck lids and spoilers, front hoods. 
So um, that's the second car, and we have an, a third car in process. Uh, we do do other marks, as I say. We're not 100% Porsche. Um, as I say, I've been uh, very interested in other marks for a lot of years and personally own um, Mercedes and Ferraris myself. So I do like to keep uh, in touch with what's happening with those markets. Uh, 275 uh, four cam car. We're just doing a restoration on that for a good client. We have uh, full paint and body here, metalwork, um, paint prep, and a blow therm downdraft paint booth, so we can control uh, quality. So this is a 356 Speedster. We've probably spent six months in metalwork on that alone, and then um, it's going to go in the paint booth probably late next week. So another car that's a little bit of diversity was just an XK140. Um, love them. 56 really nice car we uh, had some paint imperfections on it so we decided to paint the complete car so that will come up for sale in probably about a month blow therm downdraft paint booth um, state-of-the-art and then we do all our undercarriage work here strip all the cars down to steel um, we have a metal fabrication facility as well um, So a lot of the time a car will, most of the time a car will come in in this type of condition, 55 Speedster. We will, we'll totally disassemble the car. Uh, it'll go into the metal shop. Any metal work that needs to be performed, rust or accident damage. Uh, metal finished, make sure all the gaps and, and all the body panels fit correctly and then we'll put it into the uh, paint department. We'll paint the car, then it'll move into the assembly department and then move forward. And then eventually, if it's not a client's car, we'll end up putting it up on the open market. Um, pride ourselves on using as many original components and restored original components as we, can, we possibly can. Um, we've done a lot of concourses over the years as far as the 356 registry and, and clubs are concerned locally. Um, we've done quite a bit of stuff in Monterey with Concourse on the Avenues, the Quail, um, Amelia Island. So we've shown cars all over the nation. We do actually build cars for international clients as well. So the cars don't necessarily stay in the country, much that we'd like to keep them here. I just want to say thank you very much to the Peterson Automotive Museum for giving me this opportunity to show you your European collectibles in our facility. Peterson's been great to me. The Checkered Flag um, Club has been excellent to be involved with over quite a number of years. And if any of the members or any of the general public or if you have any interest at all in classic sports cars, feel free to give us a call or come on by. I'd be happy to show you around. See you soon. Thank you everybody for watching. Be sure and hit the like button and subscribe.